in a tiny, tiny section, section 7.1, an introduction to periodic functions, they look at the height of a person as they're riding on a Ferris wheel. But if you look at all the examples, they're almost all about Ferris wheels. Um, and there are other rides in the world after all. And this one's kind of an adventure. So I thought we would try this one to see what happens. Um, I don't know if you've ever ridden a Tilt-A-Whirl, but what happens is it looks like sort of a merry-go-round. So if it was just a merry-go-round, you would just stay in a circle and you'd just go around. But you're sitting in this little car right about here. And as you're going around, the car starts spinning and spinning and spinning. Um, let me watch what happens. And you can see as you're going around, it, you're doing quite a bit of spinning. You're doing a little spinning in the car, and the car is actually spinning um, around the center. It's now. Okay, there we go. Um, now the ride starts over. Right, this is a periodic function. Right. Um, unfortunately, it's got x coordinates and y coordinates. But what I want to do, um, just to see what we can do. Um, is to graph just the x-coordinate over time. Now you can see right here that, that uh, the time starts at 0 and it ends at 60. I want to tell you just what I would like you to do. Um, right now, for example, the x-coordinate is 0. If I start the ride... Hmm. I'm going to be in trouble here. Can I move it down? Yes, I can. Okay, if we start the ride, right... Um, from here to here, the x-coordinate got bigger, but now the x-coordinate is going to start getting smaller. So right about there, uh, a little bit more. Right, The x-coordinate got smaller um, until the time was about 5.7, and now the x-coordinate starts getting bigger again. Getting bigger again until about right about there. I went a little bit too far. Um, but now the x-coordinate starts getting smaller again. Uh, right about there. <laughs> and you can see when the time is 13, right, um, the x-coordinate got smaller again. So what's going to happen is you can see that the x-coordinate is going to get bigger, then smaller, then bigger, then smaller, then bigger, then smaller. What I want you to do is make a graph um, that with the time t along the horizontal and the x-coordinate along the vertical. This is, by the way, how they find equations for this kind of thing, so it's not a bad thing. Um, I normally would like to give you the, uh, the website for this to just go play with it, but um, I think what would happen is you would um, start looking at the equation. So what I want to do is just um, have it run through, um, let's say twice, so you can see what's going on, and then you can pause your own animation just to see um, about where the dot was when, and all I want is that we get a decent graph. I guess we'll just go through once. All right. So um, remember, we're going to have 60 seconds along the horizontal. Um, the x-coordinate almost gets to 4, almost gets to negative 4, and does lots of fun stuff in the middle. Uh, but meanwhile, it is periodic. And so what I would like you to do is tell me um, um, all the things that you were mentioned with the Ferris wheel. Right? It's got a middle line. It's got a top. It's got an amplitude. It's got a period. Um, and let's just do that with this.